Number nine, will Spencer Sanders in OK State continue to roll? Well, he exercised his demons against Baylor. So that's got to be a relief for everybody that supports the pokes, right? Look, he had just one interception last week, which you're going to say, you can't turn the ball over. Fine. One pick is a whole heck of a lot better than a guy that in four previous games had 11 career turnovers against Baylor. So, hey, we'll take it all day long. I thought it was a better performance. And when his career stat line is five touchdowns against 11 turnovers against one team, it's it's not good, including the forward that he threw against Baylor in the Big 12 championship game. So he was able to exercise those demons. I thought Oklahoma State did a pretty good job in the run game. Uh, we're talking about a pretty good run defense that Baylor jogs out there every single week. And a run you know, for 166 yards was pretty dang impressive. That's the most the Bears have given up in a single game since Oklahoma State ran for 219 during the regular season game last year. So I, I think that right now, when you look at Oklahoma State, Spencer Sanders is going to get a lot of love, and and, they sh- and he should. But I also think, too, man, the difference I thought for Oklahoma State in this game was the red zone performance. They were 5-for-5 five five scoring, but they scored three touchdowns against just two field goals. The last time they played in the Big 12 championship game, they were 4-for-5 scoring. Of course, the the big one being the last play of the game. They didn't score there. That was the one they didn't score, but they had just one touchdown against three field goals. So finishing drives in the end zone is of the utmost importance for Oklahoma State. They did a better job of that this past week. And I do think when you look at where they're at on third and fourth down and critical drive extending downs, they got to be a little bit better there. All right. They have to be a little bit better there. Yes, they were six of 15 on third down, which... You know, not not the end of the world, but 40% is nowhere near where you want to be. You got to be 50 plus uh, as you move forward, especially with the quarterback that you have. So Oklahoma State, I think, is well positioned to continue to make a run. But there are some things to tweak and some things to improve as the Big 12 schedule continues to tighten up. Hey, guys, it's Greg McElroy. Thanks for watching Always College Football. Make sure you like, rate and subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your podcasts.